We are now ready to verify that d is a distance function. Theorem. The function d from r in cross r in to r defined by d x y equal the sum of the square root of x1 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus y2 squared all the way up to xn minus yn squared is a distance function. Proof. We simply check the definition. Non-negativity. Let x and y be two arbitrary vectors in Rn. Since a sum of squares is always non-negative, x1 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus y2 squared up to xn minus yn squared is greater than or equal to zero. Square roots preserve inequalities. Thus, we can root both sides. But this says dxy is greater than or equal to zero. Since the choice of x and y was arbitrary, dxy is greater than or equal to zero for all x and y in Rn. Symmetry. Let x and y be two arbitrary vectors in Rn. Simply use the fact that x squared equals minus x squared, replacing each squared term in dxy. The square root of y1 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus x2 squared up to yn minus xn squared, which is the same as dyx. Since the choice of x and y was arbitrary, dxy is equal to dyx for all x and y in Rn. Zero. Let x and y be two arbitrary vectors in Rn. Suppose dxy equals zero, i.e. x1 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus y2 squared up to xn minus yn squared equals zero. Squaring both sides, we get a sum of non-negative terms. But a sum of non-negative terms is zero when and only when each term is zero. But this implies x1 equals y1, x2 equals y2, up to xn equals yn, thus x equals y. Since the choice of x and y was arbitrary, for all x and y in Rn, if dxy equals 0, then x equals y. Triangle inequality. See next lecture. Note, we have yet to prove that dxy is a distance function. We will, however, finish the proof in the next lecture as a result of the Cauchy-Swartz inequality. Now that we are convinced, or at least will be convinced, that this particular dxy is a distance function, we would like to make a formal definition. However, it is more convenient to write the Euclidean distance in terms of a unary function instead of a binary function, dxy. Fix a natural number n. We define the norm of x as a unary function from r n to r as the square root of x1 squared plus x2 squared up to xn squared. For vectors x and y in Rn, the Euclidean distance between x and y is the norm of x minus y, or the square root of x1 minus y1, squared plus x2 minus y2 squared up to xn minus yn squared. So in particular, the norm of x is the Euclidean distance between x and the zero vector or vector of all zeros.